Hello and welcome to Bread of Life, a daily devotional program which each week features a different area pastor. Our speaker for this week is Pastor John Vigneri of Northford. Welcome back to the Bread of Life, beloved of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua, Jesus. Thank you so much for joining us. In this series, we have been discussing our Christian walk, our journey through life. Father, may your message be received by all who hear it. In Yeshua, Jesus' holy name. Now let's continue with our own personal Everest. It was Paul himself who had what he described as a thorn in his side, and he pleaded with the Lord to take it away from him on three different occasions. However, the Lord said to Paul in 2 Corinthians 12, 19, My grace is sufficient for you. My power is made perfect in your weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weakness, so that Christ's power may rest on me. Amen? Sometimes, when we're at our weakest, God's power is shown perfect. We and everyone around us recognize that God was the originator of that power, that he alone could make that circumstance, that outcome happen, clearly not in our own power. John 16.33 shows us how, if we have faith in Yeshua, if we have faith in Jesus, he shows us the destination of our climb. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have troubles, you will have trials, you will have sorrows. But take heart, have courage, be strong, be filled with joy, for I have overcome the world. Amen? Having peace, courage, strength, and being filled with joy because Jesus has overcome the world. And through our faith in him, we will too. In a worship song called Hills and Valleys, some of the lyrics say this, on the mountain, I will bow my life to the one who placed me there. Watch this, because this is really important. Because it speaks to giving thanks and praise and submission to God. You see, no matter where we are on our mountain, On our Everest, we need to stop, look around, and see how beautiful and blessed our lives are, and give thanks and praise to God for all things. And finally, when we develop our relationship so deeply and so profoundly with God that we can do that, we get a true glimpse of the power and authority Yeshua, Jesus, gives us. In Mark eleven twenty three, it says this, Truly I say to you, that whoever shall say to this mountain, Be you taken away, and be you cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that what he says takes place, it will be done. I'd like to introduce two key elements to our personal Everest, to our journey. And those two key elements are this. One, to seek to live eternally with God in his kingdom, in heaven. And two, is to bring as many people with us as possible. So, in essence, the two main elements for living our life, for our Christian walk, for our personal Everest, is to live eternally with God and to bring as many people people as possible with us. And it is only through disciplined faith that we are able to accomplish this. Thank you for joining me and may God bless you. You've been listening to Pastor John Vigneri of Northford, and this has been Bread of Life, a program to encourage you from God's Word.